What's up guys, it's Dave the Military Millionaire here and I had to do a reaction video on this. I saw this come across and uh, someone someone sent it over to me and they were like, what are your thoughts? And I, well, had had to make a, a reaction video. I watched the first, this is only like a three minute video and I watched like the first minute and was like, okay, so here we go. Um, and for reference, let me put up a, this is a, I downloaded this from TikTok, but I put this on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook Reels and whatever. This is like a one minute video that I posted in, I think, November of 2022, where I talk about cosigners and cosigning and why you should never cosign for anybody because it's terrible. And the risk you take for no reward other than saying, oh, I helped someone. It's like the oh my gosh! It's such a the the number of people who have been ruined by co-signing for someone that they loved, because the thing is, it doesn't matter that you're that their best they have your best interest at heart, because you're the people who need you to co-sign for them are people who have proven track records of not succeeding in this instance, right? This is like. This would be like an Ironman athlete who has a really overweight brother. And the overweight brother is like, yo, I need this really attractive girl to date me, so I need you to go on a date for me. But here's the kicker. Uh, if she finds out you're not really me, they're going to behead you. So, like, you're just going to have to keep pretending and hope that you don't mess this up. No big deal though. Because like in the end. I'm eventually going to lose the weight. And then we'll just be able to switch places. And if that works. Nobody will ever know. And if it doesn't work. Well I won't get in trouble. Because they'll never know I existed. So. Like I know that's a terrible analogy. But like. Dude there's no reward for the person who's co-signing. Like. There's not. They don't, they don't get anything. They're co-signing. But the risk is there. They take all the risk. Anyway, so I'm going to show the, the clip that I made about why this is bad. And then I'll show the clip. And for reference, this is not me just saying I'm going to go tack ADPI and active duty passive income and whatever. Uh, I make these videos all the time where the, the I don't want to say like fake guru math, but that's kind of what people are calling them, where uh, I disagree with the logic behind something. And I'm going to point out why. And it's going to be factual, and it's going to be explaining the fallacy and why I don't believe in the concept. And it would be the same video regardless of who produced it. So I'm just throwing that out there. Here's why you should never co-sign, and it's going to hurt. Rip the band-aid. Look, I don't care how much they love you. I don't care how much they have your best interest at heart, because yes, it doesn't matter. Um, it could be your girlfriend, it could be your wife, it could be your your mommy, your son, your grandparent, your pastor. I don't know. Anybody and everybody who you think is the one person who loves you more than anybody else and would never do you wrong. It doesn't matter. That's the problem. The problem with co-signing is that it doesn't matter how much they love you and how much they want your best interest and have your best interest at heart. Because if they make a mistake, it's on you, right? So... Think of it this way. If a bank wouldn't lend to you, why should someone else, right? Like, if a bank wouldn't lend to them, why should you risk it? And the problem is that if you co-sign for someone, no matter how much they love you and have your best interest at heart, if they default on that or mess up or get in trouble or get hit by a car and don't have insurance or, like, something that's unforeseen or un whatever goes wrong, it's on you and you're going to get stuck with it. So the risk is not worth the reward. You stand to gain nothing. By cosigning, you gain absolutely nothing. You have no reward, no, no benefit at all to cosigning. But you have a risk. It's not worth it. The name of the investing game is not to gamble on risks with no rewards. It's to bet on things with massive upsides and minimal risks, right? So don't cosign. All right, so there are my thoughts. Now let's watch the video and react. Hey guys, Mark Yancich here with ADPI, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to use a co-signer to buy a home with your VA loan. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I wanna invest in real estate, but my credit's just not good enough, and I don't know that I'm ready to take on this much debt. Okay, 
stop it right there. If that's you, the right answer is work on your credit, work on your risk aversion, because guess what? If you want to invest in real estate, you're going to have to take on debt and you're going to want to improve your credit. It's how you invest in real estate. If you want to invest in real estate without improving your credit and without taking on debt personally, be an LP investor in syndications. Be a private money lender. Um, find a way to invest in real estate where you're not taking on a mortgage and you're not doing the things. But that way is not buying a house. Because if you buy a house, you're going to need credit and you're going to need debt. Unless you're doing seller financing, then you might not need credit, but it's still going to have debt, right? The seller financing. So, like, this isn't a have a cake and eat it too thing. Like, you you need to have credit and debt. Like, again, as I've said throughout all of my investing, whatever, your finances need to be in order. If you do not have your finances in order and you think that buying more real estate to get your finances in order is the answer... You're setting yourself up for failure. Take the time to pause and build that foundation, then go in on real estate. Having bad credit, terrible debt, not being able to take on more debt, bad financial foundation, and then buying real estate in hopes that it'll fix your foundation is setting yourself up for failure. It, it's just not a good mix. Sorry. Well, that's exactly where cosigners come in. So if you're someone in that... For the reference, this means bad credit, don't want to take on debt. Let's ask somebody else to say, hey, my credit's bad. I don't want to take on debt. Can you take on the debt for me and sign saying that my credit sucks so you're you're good with covering for me? Yeah? I'm going to have the house. I get the reward. You're going to take the risk. So if I default, it's on you. Cool? Yeah? We're good? Cool? Thanks? All right position this video is perfect because it's going to help you with all the information you need to know to get that done and as i mentioned this is mark yonsich with active duty passive income where we teach military families how to achieve financial freedom through business real estate yeah, just all yeah, sorts yeah, of yeah, finance yeah. tips you name it a little bit of housekeeping if you wouldn't mind commenting below no. that video gets produced all right let's center is just somebody that basically lets you use a cosigner yeah, so a cosigner is just somebody that basically points, lets you use their credit you can even think about it as if they are loaning you their credit. This might be extremely Actually, beneficial for credit. you if you're someone who either A, has bad credit or is in a bad financial situation in general. Again, shouldn't be now, you don't want just anybody to be your cosigner. You want it to be somebody that you're comfortable with. And here's the three things I would typically look for if I were you. One, make sure that it's somebody just you trust, like point blank. Two, make sure they have good credit, duh. And then three, make sure that it's somebody that they genuinely want to help you, okay? It's not somebody that's going to be... For reference, the person in this scenario who should actually be doing the vetting is the cosigner. The person who's getting cosigned for could just run around screaming, "Will somebody please cosign for me?" Because anyone who says yes doesn't. There's no risk for the person being cosigned for. Once they sign that, you're good. You can basically do whatever. The person who's cosigning is the one who needs to do the vetting. That's the person who's going to get stuck and screwed if this goes south be begrudging you or asking you a million questions after this all happens. Now, the reason why you want it to be somebody that you trust is because they are going to be providing their own financial documents to acquire the loan for both of you, essentially. And they are going to be assuming the loan if you default on it or if you stop making stop payments, guess what? The buck stops with them. They are ultimately yeah. the ones responsible for making sure the, the payments continue happening. So let's just break down the benefits the of a cosigner. First things first, you might be able to get approved for the VA loan that you are eligible for. Note that he said making sure the payments still happen. It, it, he omits, and I know this is not his intent, because um, maybe we get to it in a minute, but omits, it makes it. When he says that, what he means is if they don't make those payments, that's the person who takes the ding on the foreclosure. Right? You both do, but that's the person who gets screwed. Right? They didn't buy the house. They didn't get the benefit. They either make the payment or their signing to help you ends them on the foreclosure as well. 
which is huge. That's a very, very big benefit. And secondly, a cosigner might help you get approved for a larger loan. Now, I'm not talking about getting into debt, bad debt on a bigger loan. I'm talking about actually acquiring more good debt because you're buying a home that you can potentially house hack or it's going to have a big return on investment when you make it a rental down the road, all those types of things. So this is... Again, that only makes sense if the property itself actually makes sense. The idea that you couldn't qualify for the loan, somebody else can help you qualify for the loan via co-signing, therefore it's good debt just because it's a house, there are ways to do it without a co-signer. Again, if your finances aren't ready to buy a house, then buying a bigger house just because the numbers might make sense down the road, I don't think constitutes good debt. Sorry. I, I think that if you're not ready to be buying a house and the bank is not willing to lend to you without someone else's signature, then you should probably just hold off. You can house hack without buying. I house hacked a rental. I Airbnb arbitraged bedrooms and lived for free basically in San Diego and pocketed my VAH. It was great. And I could have done that with no credit and it would have been awesome. This is where like the long game can really be beneficial. All right, well, what's the difference between a co-signer and a co-borrower? Well, now that you're pretty crystal clear on what a co-signer is, I wanna go over what a co-borrower is and I wanna make sure that you do not get confused between the two. Here are the four main elements of a co-borrower, all right? One, a co-borrower is when both of the borrowers are making the payments or basically pay on the loan. Two, it's a mutual application. Both of you are applying for the loan. Three, you are mutual owners of the property. And four, this typically is when it's like a spouse or partners. This is when you see it the most often. Now, if you watch this and you're like, okay, I really wanna do all that, but it seems like it could get hairy if I'm not careful and I need a good lender and agent to walk me through, you're absolutely right. You always want to have people that actually know what they're talking about, especially with the VA loan, because you can save thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. All right, stand by for the pitch. Okay. Oh. So this is basically a three minute video that says, hey, if you have no credit and bad finances, then we're gonna make a video, uh, it's a four minute video, but whatever. Uh, hey, we're gonna make a video for people with no credit and bad finances to teach them how to convince people to co-sign for them. And then I guarantee the last minute of this is them pitching their lenders and agents so that you can come, shameless plug, use their team, to convince people to co-sign for them. Just don't. Just, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like, oh, shameless blog, I know agents and lenders too, and I'd be happy to recommend them to you. Uh, but my agents and lenders would hopefully tell you that you should probably fix your credit and work on your personal finances before you look at buying a house. Because. Um, so for one, I'd prefer the co-borrower idea to the co-signing. Uh, my buddy Donnie and Adit, they co-borrowed together. They, one of them had used his entitlement and the other had entitlement. And the one who had entitlement couldn't, uh, his income was huge, but it didn't have the two-year requirement, so it didn't count. And the other one met the requirement for income. So they were able to combine, bought a fourplex in Imperial Beach, made a ton of money, crushed it in the San Diego County area, and they were able to do that together with one of them having entitlement, one of them not, and one of them had the other one having income and not, and they came together, bought a, a triplex, I guess, actually, and crushed it, and that was awesome. And so that's a win-win co-borrower, both risk, both reward, boom. Uh, spouses, co-borrowers. Uh, I mean, there are some really awesome situations where co-borrowing is just a great way to be. I, every now and then you hear of a situation where people co-signed and it was great. But I think for every one time that I hear about that, I hear about eight to ten times where it goes really, really bad. I mean, it's super skewed, right? And I'm sure that that means there's probably a few times where it goes right and nobody says anything. But I'll tell you, I made that video. Well, hang on. Let's find out. I'll just go through my comment thread. Let's go to the Instagram. Let's do this. So that was in November. So let's just scroll back to November. November. 
November real quick. Hang on. Okay, so there's 12 comments. Shoot, I'm not co-signing for anyone. Not even my own mama. Straight facts. That's the truth. Happened to a friend of mine. Thank you for this one. People need to know. And yes, it happened to me too. All right, three comments on TikTok. All say the same thing. Like, the messages that I got on Instagram were the same thing. I mean, it's just, it is what it is, right? There was nothing in there. Not a single one of those, like, ten comments was like, oh, you're wrong. This worked out great for me. Um, so, not granted, that was a small comment pool, but that was ten comments, and they were all bad. So, I'm just saying, it is what it is. Again, not in tech, but here's the thing. Bottom line. Look, I don't like when videos are made. Yes, the intent, I'm sure, is to teach, hey, if you're in a really bad spot, this is a way that it could work for you. And they're right, that you could co-sign or get a co-signer in order to utilize VA loan. And yes, the VA loan is an incredible benefit. And there are times where you could use it and you could come on top, come out on top, and it could be great. But the overwhelming majority of times that people co-sign, it ends up really badly for one person or another. And I, I just, I can't, the video just, to me, seems like a setting, setting up people. It doesn't, it doesn't seem genuine. It seems like it's setting up people for failure by trying to say, hey, if you're not really in a position to buy a house, convince someone to co-sign for you and use one of our lenders or agents and we'll help you out. And then hopefully that person that you co-signed for doesn't get burned. But we'll figure that, you know, that'll be your problem, not ours. And I'm sure that's not the intent. I just <sighs> I had to make the video to keep my conscience clean. So, is what it is. Uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this. But this is my stance on co-signing. Again, the VA loan's amazing. Happy to introduce you to agents to lenders if you'd like to use it. More importantly than that, happy to help you succeed as a military real estate investor with the largest community of other military real estate investors in the world. So let's go crush it. Have a great day.